Hello everyone. If you are thinking about moving to Dallas and you like walkability, you want to be close to dining, retail, you don't want to be far from your work and you don't want to get in your car, then I think Uptown is a place that you should definitely consider and I am going to show you why. So stay tuned, watch this video to learn all about Uptown. All right, I am starting today off at Clyde Warren Park. And the reason I wanted to start at Clyde Warren Park today is because I really wanted to show you where we are in Dallas. So to my left, which is actually gonna be to the south, is downtown Dallas and what's known as the Arts District. So the Arts District is gonna be all of your performing and visual arts. And then to the right of me is Uptown. So Clyde Warren Park connects the two areas. It is a five acre park development that runs over the highway. And right behind me, we have these brand new fountains. It's called the Nancy Best Fountains. And the fountains are actually, the water goes up over, not over 100 feet, at least 100 feet, which is the tallest in the world. This is brand new. They just finished this. It was 10 years in the making. They have at evening a light show that goes, not a light show, a music show and water that's choreographed together. So really, really fun, cool entertainment for your family. It's a huge splash pad as well. So you can have your kids come out here running around. But what's really cool about Clyde Warren is they do so many things for the community to try to bring the community together. So you have nights where they do movies in the park. You have Zumba classes. There's ping pong tables. So much stuff to do. Bring your dogs. Have a little fun here. And then during the day, we're surrounded by businesses. So we've got our financial firms, we've got our attorneys, we've got all kinds of businesses that happen here right in this area. And the whole side of this gets lined up with food trucks. So if you live here nearby or you work nearby, come down in the middle of the day, have your lunch, sit out here, enjoy the outdoors. That's what this park is for and it just connects the two areas. So Uptown is actually only one square mile long. So we're gonna do a little walking today and show you what you can have there, which is different styles of architecture, housing. So let's get to it. All right, so just a short walk away from where we were at Clyde Warren, we are now at the Pearl. So the Pearl is right at McKinney and Olive. I'm stopping for a cup of coffee. You can see behind me, this is a great little place to sit, have your lunch or have a cup of coffee. We have a Starbucks reserve here, which if you don't know, is just like a fancier Starbucks and they have more things. And then we also have, again, a lot of businesses. The Ritz Carlton is right here. And what I love about this area and what I want you to remember is if you need to do like some business dinners or anything like like that take clients out there are several steakhouses that are around here so del frisco's is right here it looks like they're putting in an stk you have fairings um, and you have perry's perry's does an incredible pork chop on fridays that is like half off and amazing you have to go check it out but this is just another little area here where it has a lot of businesses the trolley is running behind me so the trolley runs up and down mckinney i said we're at mckinney and olive and mckinney is pretty much all of uptown so if you're wanting to come check this area out and you don't don't know what to put in your map obviously you can put in uptown dallas know that you can start at klein warren and it's super walkable but just think mckinney avenue so we're going to keep on going up mckinney and show you a little bit more all right so i told you guys that mckinney avenue is one mile long and then it's super walkable i did not walk down here and i'm going to tell you why is because it's early in the day and there's a lot of mosquitoes out right now i'm getting eaten alive so just keep that in mind we have mosquitoes here but we are now coming into west village so west village is just north of lemon and that's kind of one of the boundaries that is includes uptown so west village has a lot of shopping dining and this is a big area for nightlife so as we drove down this way we passed restaurants whole foods bars so if nightlife is what you're looking for that stretch back behind me is where you're gonna find all of that but this area is just such a super cute location the trolley runs through here I admittedly have never been on the trolley but just so you know you can hop on hop off it's absolutely free and then this area behind me there's stuff all inside so it's a great place you can spend your entire day in this location because there are so many little shops and things for you to do. Sit on a patio, relax. That's what people do in this area. And then you're also really very close to 75. So 75 is just right here on the right of me. So it runs parallel to McKinney Avenue. Super quick and easy to jump on and get further north 
or if you want to head into downtown you can just go up mckinney you don't even have to get on any highways so this area like i said is just extremely walkable you don't even have to have a car i definitely have friends that live down here work down here never get in a car sold their car because they just uber wherever they want to go so if that kind of living is what you're interested in there are condos here, apartments, luxury apartments here. You could live above the Whole Foods if you want. A lot of new buildings happening over here. And then we also have a lot of townhomes here. So I wanna go show you what some of those townhomes look like. You can see what high-rise buildings and condos look like, but the townhomes in this area are not like we're gonna see anywhere else. So I'm gonna show you guys to go take a look at that. All right, so we have moseyed along into the State Thomas neighborhood. This is again part of Uptown. You're gonna hear different little subsections of Uptown. So you've got State Thomas, we were at the Pearl, I was at Clyde Warren Park, which is not technically Uptown, but it's really close. You have um, Oak Grove. So a lot of different names, it might get confusing, but just know this is all Uptown. If you have any questions about it, let me know. But we have a lot of areas, a lot of little subsections. So that's why you're gonna hear me say different things. So State Thomas, why? wanted to show you all this is because we have these adorable brownstones so different architecture in this area than you're gonna find in other parts of Dallas also this is the um, largest concentration of Victoria era style homes that are still left in Dallas a lot of cute businesses are run out of there and then again close to here we've got multiple places where you can go to the rest go to a restaurant coffee shop and then places that kind of turn into more bars at night so if nightlife is what you're looking for if you're coming from a bigger city LA New York something like that and you're used to just having walkability and being able to just go down and get your coffee or go down to a local marketplace and get some food we've got that here too so there's an adorable um, more than one adorable little local marketplaces that sources by talking to the people in this community and finding out what kind of products they should uh, sell there to make sure that it's exactly what the community needs also close to here is a park so right behind or in front of me is Griggs Park it's another really big um, park area where you can take your dog one of the things I haven't mentioned is that the uptown area and Dallas in general is really really dog friendly so you can take your dog pretty much anywhere so from where we were in West Village just a quick two-minute walk from where I was standing there is a big um, bar that is actually for dogs it's called mutts and then there's also a live music venue over there called the rustic where they do lots of concerts outdoor stuff it's a huge space so there is so much to do in this area i wish i could cover it all and tell you guys but i just wanted to give you an idea and a look and feel of what uptown is all about prices really do range here so this is not one of the most affordable areas that you can find this location is about lifestyle so if walkability nightlife, being close to your work, being able to jump on highways really, really quickly and not far from the airport. This is definitely a location to think about. What I always recommend before you move anywhere, and this is fresh on my mind because I met the sweetest gal yesterday who moved here from New York and she's living in a part of the DFW marketplace that I probably wouldn't have suggested and she's not loving. So before you move anywhere, I would always suggest come visit. So Uptown has multiple high-end hotels. We got somebody cutting grass right here, so it's a little loud, but we've got multiple high-end hotels. You've got the Ritz, you've got the Crescent Court. I think there's a Hilton. Uh, we've got a lot to offer here if you want to stay close by and check it out. Always do that first before you move somewhere because you just never know what you're going to find that you fall in love with. And if Uptown is a place that you're interested in, give me a call. I'd love to help you out. See you guys next time.